An EU official inadvertently reignited a centuries-old territorial dispute between Spain and the United Kingdom, throwing a wrench into the already complex Brexit negotiations. Margritis Guinness, an EU commissioner, uttered a simple yet loaded statement during a press briefing in Seville in Spain. Gibraltar Espanol, Gibraltar is Spanish, and the seemingly in innocuous remark sent shockwaves through the Brexit talk, significantly complicating the path towards a smooth separation. Skinner's comments struck a raw nerve in Gibraltar, that's a tiny British overseas territory nestled on the southern tip of Spain, often referred to as the Rock. Gibraltar has been under British control for over 300 years. And despite the passage of time, Spain has persistently laid claim to the territory, making the issue of sovereignty a fiercely contested one. Skinner's intervention was seen as a needless provocation, particularly since Spain hadn't made reclaiming Gibraltar a central demand in the Brexit negotiations from the beginning. Many observers felt his remarks were not only insensitive, but also irresponsible, potentially jeopardizing any hopes of achieving a swift and amicable agreement by the looming June deadline. The incident served as a stark reminder of the unresolved nature of the Gibraltar dispute. Residents of Gibraltar have overwhelmingly voted to remain British in multiple referendums, and the UK government has steadfastly pledged to uphold their right to self-determination. Spain, however, counters by emphasizing its historical claim. They argue that Gibraltar was ceded to Britain under the 1713 Treaty of Utrecht in an unequal power dynamic and that the territory should rightfully be returned to Spanish sovereignty. Skinner's remarks underscored the potential for the Gibraltar issue to become a major stumbling block, not just in, in Brexit negotiations, but also in wider European relations. The incident cast a long shadow of uncertainty, highlighting the historical tension that can still erupt in Europe, even amidst seemingly bureaucratic discussions like the EU membership withdrawal was. The situation in Gibraltar is just one of many such historical contentions that continue to simmer in Europe, a continent with a complex tapestry of borders and ethnicities. Resolving these disputes peacefully and with due respect for the wishes of the people involved remains an ongoing challenge for European diplomacy. Furthermore, the episode offered a cautionary tale on the power of political rhetoric, particularly when dealing with sensitive historical issues. Skinner's offhand comment, while seemingly insignificant, managed to inflame tensions and derail delicate negotiations. It serves as a stark reminder for politicians and diplomats of the importance of carefully measured language, especially when navigating the complexities of international relations. Skinner's remarks became a case study in how seemingly innocuous statements can have far-reaching consequences, disrupting diplomatic efforts and casting doubt on the path forward. The incident underscored the need for careful diplomacy and nuanced understanding of historical sensitivities. It also highlighted the complex challenges of navigating territorial disputes and the importance of respecting the wishes of the people directly affected. Moving forward, resolving the status of Gibraltar will require a delicate balancing act that acknowledges the historical claims of Spain while respecting the rights of Gibraltarians to determine their own future. And this will necessitate open communication, mutual respect and a willingness to find creative solutions that can accommodate the interests of all parties involved. The European Union, as a major player on the world stage, has a particular responsibility to foster dialogue and encourage peaceful resolutions to their territorial disputes within its sphere of influence. The Gibraltar situation presents an opportunity for the EU to showcase its commitment to diplomacy and its ability to act as a neutral arbiter at some point. 
By facilitating open communication between Spain, the UK and Gibraltar, the EU can play a crucial role in finding a lasting solution that respects the historical claims of all sides while upholding the right of self-determination for the people of Gibraltar. The uncertainty surrounding the status of Gibraltar also has the potential to disrupt the territory's thriving economy. Gibraltar is a major financial center and its status as a British overseas territory has been crucial to its economic success. Any change in sovereignty could potentially damage investor confidence and negatively impact businesses operating in Gibraltar. The economic well-being of the territory and its residents must be a key consideration in any negotiation regarding its status that are ongoing. And in conclusion, the seemingly innocuous remark by an EU official laid bare the complexities of the Gibraltar dispute and its potential to disrupt not only Brexit negotiations but also wider European relations. Moving forward, resolving this historical issue will require a delicate balancing act that, as I said, acknowledges the historical claims of Spain while respecting the right of Gibraltarians to determine their own future. International organizations like the EU can play a crucial role in facilitating dialogue and find a lasting solution that considers the economic well-being of the territory and its residents. And Gibraltar's situation is unique. In the 2016 Brexit referendum, Gibraltar overwhelmingly voted with over 96% to remain in the EU, whereas the UK as a whole voted to leave. This fundamental difference in desires creates a complex situation for negotiations. The UK government has stated it will uphold Gibraltar's right to self-determination, a principle enshrined in the UN Charter. However, how that translates into a practical relationship with the EU now after Brexit remains unclear. Spain contests Gibraltar's right to self-determination, arguing that the territory is rightfully Spanish at the same time. And this clashing of views between the UK, Gibraltar and Spain makes finding a solution even more challenging. Spain, as I said, has a long-standing territorial claim on Gibraltar dating back to the 1730 13 Treaty of Utrecht and Brexit has reignited this dispute. Spain sees the UK's departure from the EU as an opportunity to potentially influence the status of Gibraltar. The EU, on the other hand, might be more inclined to prioritize the concerns of a member state that would be Spain during negotiations, especially considering its size and economic weight. And this dynamic adds another layer of complexity. Spain might use the negotiation process to push for joint Spanish-British sovereignty over Gibraltar, an option rejected by Gibraltarians in multiple referendums. And as I said, Gibraltar's economy thrives on its close links with the EU as well, being part of the single market allowed for the free movements of goods, services and people. But what now? Because this was crucial for Gibraltar's financial services industry, its duty-free sector and tourism. And Brexit throws a wrench into this well-oiled system. The new regulations and maybe enduring border restrictions could significantly impact Gibraltar's prosperity and finding a solution that safeguards economic well-being is paramount. Both Gibraltar and Spain rely heavily on cross-border movement for their economies and thousands of, of Spanish workers commute daily to Gibraltar while Gibraltar relies on Spain for goods and services. A hard border with stringent controls would be detrimental to both sides. Negotiating a border arrangement that ensures smooth movement while addressing security concerns is a crucial aspect of the post-Brexit discussions we are seeing. The outcome of the negotiations between the UK, Spain and the EU will significantly impact Gibraltar's future. The UK has limited leverage in these negotiations as Gibraltar is not part of the UK for EU purposes and Spain might attempt to leverage its position as a member state to influence the final agreement. The EU itself might be hesitant to set a precedent that could embolden other secessionist movements within the Union. Therefore, 
finding a solution that accommodates the interests of all parties, the UK, Spain, the EU, and most importantly, the people of Gibraltar, will still be a complex and delicate task, and it's far from over. And if you want to know more, the next video is right here on the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.